Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today, we're uh, leaving Pensacola, going to Houston, Texas, so y'all stay tuned. <music> are to when I get near Houston to just stay to the right to avoid going through Houston. <laughs> uh, gonna need a little more info than stay to the right. <laughs> so folks we're going to make these skewers today and um, you know we're on the fly here we got our nice little skewers here from Grill, Grill Heat Aid and uh, this things we're going to use today to make these skewers and uh, very much unlike you know mixing all your meats and veggies up you know, on a skewer like uh, everybody shows you you see them on TV and you know, other TV commercials if you really want to make your veggie and your meat come out perfect put the same kind of veggie on each skewer and all your meat on one skewer you can mix them up later <laughs> okay because every one of these things is going to have a different cook time. So here's the ingredients we have today to make the skewers. So we have uh, some baby zucchini. We got a beautiful red bell pepper. And we have some portachini mushrooms that are the perfect size, like the medium ones. All right. We went ahead and rinsed these mushrooms off. We're using the wider. There's two different sizes of these uh, grill heat hay um, skewers. The thin ones and the really wide ones. I'm going to use the wide ones here on the mushrooms. That's just going to keep them from spinning around. And we're just going to skewer them right through the stem. Right out the top. And do them all in the same direction. Just like so. And, you know, these are all going to be pretty much the same size. So I know you guys don't see me cook on gas grill ever, right? But this isn't what we got tonight. So this is how we set it up. This is a five burner, it's a pretty nice grill. Uh, we got one burner, it's not working. We have a sear zone right down there. So really we're on three, three zones. These two on this side over here, those we got about a medium. This one was a high. That's where we're gonna put our meat. That's where we're gonna put our veg. Okay, we'll see how it all works out. Shall we begin? This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. So you see that, you know, and flames, that means we're getting sears here. We're gonna shuffle them around. 
definitely do not want to overcook these. These are uh, filet and ribeye. So we're going to got our safe zone over there all the way to the side. We can move them to, but we still want to get that nice sear. So let's bring a couple of these over. So we haven't seared yet. And um, that's chef's choice. It just fell off the skewer. Oh, yeah. Shrooms over right there are looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and kind of keep them moving. Just roll them. I think it's about time to flip these guys too. Maybe over on the hot side. Look for a little char on all these. Okay, everything is done, so now it's time for the plate, Backwoods Gourmet style. Okay, we're bringing over some of those mushrooms first. Oh my God, look at those. Look at the juice coming off of those. Okay, let me, let me change my angle here. All right, let's get some of our some of those grilled peppers up on there. That. Bear with me, this stuff is really hot. I like these really kind of charred ones, the zucchinis. Oh my God, there's so much flavor in those. Last thing is the meat. Coming over with that. Just a second. About that many per serving. Let's take a look at how that meat turned out inside. We can see those veg about perfect. Now these guys around here, they don't like it too pink, so we cooked a little more. But do that as rare as you like. And over here, we have our baked sweet potato. <laughs>